Where am I from? Well, I grew up in Manhattan, um, a borough of New York City. I did not always want to be a teacher. I um, wanted to be a lawyer for, for many years. I actually applied to law school. Uh, and then I had a friend who worked in a uh, boarding school in Massachusetts who I respected very dearly. And uh, that, that, that made me want to become a teacher. What do you enjoy about teaching? Uh, keeps me young. Uh, as I said, I think a couple of years in chapel speech here, uh, students keep me young, they, they keep me thinking about things that are, um, that are uh, sort of in the mainstream. Um, I enjoy hearing about their uh, lives and getting feedback from them in class. What made me think I would become a language teacher? Um, it probably was a pivotal moment in sixth grade when I failed French because I had trouble with the listening and speaking part. Um, I'm better with that now, but I uh, began to take Latin, and I've always been interested in puzzles and mysteries, and I felt like Latin is sort of that way, sort of like a crossword puzzle. You have to look for clues, piece things together. Uh, favorite place I traveled was Greece, because um, if you look at the sort of, the, you know, the typical Greek fisherman, um, the lines on his face, I always, when I go there, sort of um, they, they catch me sort of captures my attention because those lines sort of tell a story. Um, there's a lot of history and culture behind those people. Uh, why is it my favorite place? Well, I enjoy not only the culture of Greece, but um, the history. And um, having read Homer in its original form, um, I can say I'm probably um, a very small percentage of the whole world that's done that. Um, so I find that um, just really cool. Uh, teaching method is, um, didactic, which means to teach information, but I don't um, consider myself to um, use that sort of as a, uh, a main method. I think I'm more Socratic, which basically is acting as a, um, a sounding board and um, posing other questions rather than sort of feeding information to the students, asking them questions so they can become better critical thinkers. What do I value about my teaching method? I think it's, um, I try to be fair to the students. Um, I try to get them to think for themselves. I try to get them to think about clues that will bring them to the right answer without actually doing the work for them. Okay. <clears throat> so what's my son doing and what are the difference between those days and now when, when he was here at school and then now he's obviously graduated many years later. Um, my son has always been interested in biology and he worked for a while in the lab, but right now he is pursuing a degree, a master's degree, and then a doctorate at University of Sciences down in Philadelphia um, in pharmacology and toxology. Um, there's not much difference, I don't think. Being here in the middle school, even though there are two schools becoming one, which I, I think has many advantages, um, I think middle school is still the same, same collegiality. Um, same family-like atmosphere here. I feel like I'm part of a family when I come here every day.